Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we will be looking at the veins of the thorax, looking at the veins that drain the intrathoracic structures, as well as the veins that drain both the anterior and posterior thoracic walls, and the mediastinum. So, in our first image here, we're looking at a right lateral view of the heart, with the wall pulled back to expose the right atrium. And in the right atrium, of course, we have the pectinate muscles along the wall here and the tricuspid valve going into the right ventricle just here. And in terms of our vessels, we have our superior vena cava in green here, as well as our ascending aorta and the pulmonary artery popping out just under here. And the right pulmonary veins are hanging out around here. And the superior vena cava, which we're here to talk about on this slide, is a large valveless venous vessel that drains the head the neck, the upper limb, and the thorax. The superior vena cava is formed by the union of the brachiocephalic veins and opens into the right atrium of the heart, which we can see it doing just here. And before we move on, I quickly just want to talk about the tracheal veins, which are small veins that drain the trachea. And these veins, which we can't see on this slide, obviously, are interesting to note because they open into the different venous vessels at different levels of the trachea. For example, at the level of the neck, the tracheal veins drain into the superior vena cava. However, further down the trachea, these veins open into the left brachiocephalic vein, or the inferior thyroid vein, or the internal thoracic vein, depending on which level of the trachea they arise from. Now, in this slide, we're having a look at our azygous venous system, and the azygous venous system is directly related to the superior vena cava. And the azygous venous system is a system of veins that drains the viscera within the mediastinum, the back, and the thoracoabdominal walls. And this system consists of the azygous vein, the hemiazygous vein, the accessory azygous vein, and the left superior intercostal vein. And I know we've listed the azygous vein on this list first, but we're going to start with the accessory hemiazygous vein. As the azygous system can be separated into the two sides, the left and the right side. And I'll explain that a little bit more later, but for the moment, we're going to start with the left side. And that includes the accessory hemiazygous vein, which we have here highlighted in green. And if you can't see it, I'm just pointing it out here with my arrow. And the accessory hemiazygous vein drains the superior left hemithorax. It also receives tributaries from the 4th to 8 lumbar veins, as the 4th to 8 intercostal veins on the left side, which we can see here, and the left bronchial veins, which we can't see. And the accessory hemiazygous vein goes on to open into the azygous vein, which is running down the length of the thorax on the right, just here. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.